Hello everyone, my name is Hamid Jafar Shah. I'm third year PhD student in the Mechanical and Materials Engineering Department and my supervisor is Professor Liu. This project that I'm working on is optical fiber strain sensor for food deformation measurements during drawing. So for this project, what we have here is that as foods go through the drawing process, they shrink, they become smaller. So for example, in this case here, we have banana. And as they draw, you can see here that they become smaller. And the goal of this project is to measure that shrinkage. We want to see how much they uh, become, uh, how much they become smaller. And this shrinkage can provide us with some knowledge. We can have better understanding of the change of food texture, wholesomeness, and quality attribute, and so on and so forth. But doing so, doing this measurement is not easy. It comes with a bunch of uh, limitation. For example, here we're dealing with the largest strain rate, the, the amount of deformation is quite large. And foods are, are quite soft material. So using conventional strain gauge is not a doable approach to do the measurement here. So here in this project, we're working on uh, an optical fiber strain sensor. We use optics to do this measurement as I will explain in the next slide to measure the food deformation as they go through the drawing process. So for the design of our sensor here, we have our optical fiber sensor, as you can see here. So what we have for our design, we have a tube. So this is a tube and we have optical fiber that's, that's guided inside a tube and the fiber can slide, slide inside a tube and spacing a mirror. So as, as lights go through the fiber and goes out, it's reflect back from the mirror and goes back inside the, inside the fiber. And as the distance between the fiber and mirror changes, um, the, the, the amount of light that goes, that goes back into the fiber also changes. So by, doing the, do, by measuring the reflected light, we can see what is the distance. And everything here, the whole thing here is embedded in a, some kind of very soft rubber. It's silicon rubber, it's quite soft. And here basically when the, so this is a silicon rubber that's cover everything. And we put this silicon, this piece inside the food. So as they shrink, they force the fiber to the tube and the distance changing. As you can see here in this animation, for example, here we have a banana slice and you can see here the fiber is moving forward as the, the rubber shrink with food sample. So, and here we can measure the, the, the formation. And you can see here uh, basically uh, the design of our sensor. So we, based on the design that we had here, we fabricate the sensor and you can see how small this sensor can be fabricated here. The length of the sensor is about three millimeter and the diameter is about 1.2 millimeter. Here you can see how it is small. And also we tested the sensor in banana slice during drawing process as I, as I will explain next slides. So, but, but before doing tests, we also, one other thing that also we did, we Pro, we develop a program with MATLAB GUI to be able to measure the strain in real time, as you can see here. So here in our setup, you can see here, this is the oven that we have. And the, you can see the banana slice over here. And we use also a camera here to record pictures from the banana during the drawing process, as I will show you some result about from that. And also we have the program that in real time as food dry during the drawing process, we do the measurement. So here we have some results. What we did in this test, we if this is a consider this to be a banana slice, we made a hole first inside the banana slice, then we inserted our sensor inside into the banana slice. You can see here the banana, and this is the optical fiber that is connected to the sensor. So we inserted the, the, the sensor inside banana slice and we measure as, as the banana was drawing inside the oven. We were measuring the shrinkage, and you can see here the result. We put the the fiber at different lengths and we measure the shrinkage. One other thing that also we did here, I'm going to talk about in next slides more, uh, we use computer vision. So for that, what we did, we put some dots as you can see here in this image. And as we record a video from camera, 
we, 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 we record the, the, basically we track the position of these dots. And from that, we could also calculate the shrinkage to do, to be able to do a comparison. And here you can see this, this uh, yellow curve is the result from computer vision measurements. And here you can see a very good agreement between our sensor, sensor measurement and computer vision measurement. So here I'm going to show you a video of our results. So you can see here that, so the sensor is in, embedded in, inside the banana and you can see here the software, the program is uh, tracking the dots on, this, on the banana slice. And the blue curve here is the measurement from the computer vision and the red curve is the measurement from our sensor. So, so yes. Here you can see the banana is sh that's shrinking. And our sensor did a good measurement. Also, you can see here the change of the, the, the change of the shrinkage from the mm, computer vision measurement. So in next step to have a better understanding, we wanted to improve a little bit on our computer vision measurement. And for that, what we did instead of several dots, we had a grid of dots. We have, a, you can see here, a grid of dots on banana slice. And we go, we went through the drawing process. And this time we tracked the whole, all the dots here to, to be able to do the better measurement. So by tracking the motion of all dots and mapping on the, mapping all the displacement, we were able to calculate the, the, the shrinkage as, you, as I'm going to show you here the results. So we can see the shrinkage. You can see that the shrinkage in outer layer is larger. And as we go inside the shrinkage becomes smaller. And that's it for the project. Thank you for your attention.